Welcome to week five of the Lenten Prayer Challenge. This week we are praying for the virtue of humility. And when I think of humility, the first place I think of in the Bible is the Sermon at the Mount, when Jesus says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And when we hear that, we hear this poverty of spirit. What does that mean? Uh, well, when we find ourselves without material things, uh, without close relationships, without things that we were desiring, we feel our poverty and we know we need a savior. So it's very easy for us to connect to God as our savior in those moments. And how do we have good humility throughout all of our lives, even when things are going really well in our lives? My first practical tip would be that we recognize God as creator and us as creature. So every day when we come to prayer, if we automatically say, hello, good morning, thank you God, all powerful God and creator of the universe, creator of me, and I am creature, and you have given me everything, and thank you for creating me and for my existence, simply. Uh, that is the very first way that we can automatically put our hearts in the right disposition of humility when thinking and speaking of God as our beautiful creator. And how do we have this like true humility pervade all parts of our lives throughout the whole day long? Um, one thing that I think about often is how am I seeing myself as God sees me and how am I accepting and thanking praise appropriately for my talents? Uh, when someone says, you look really beautiful, or wow, that was a really great prayer, or you play the piano so impressively, are we able to say thank you correctly and not grow in an ego pride, but to say thank you and to recognize that even if we've put in a lot of work in these traits or talents, None of it would be possible without God. Maybe you lift weights a ton and are really buff. <laughs> Maybe you have worked really hard to get a high paying job to acquire lots of beautiful possessions. Maybe you have met, spent many hours playing the piano or learning a sport and you're really proficient and excellent at it. Still, all of that, even with all of our own personal effort, none of it would be possible if God had not given you and I the disposition to those traits. And even the, like, virtue and encouragement to pursue and persist and persevere in those arenas. So thank you God always for all of the gifts that he gives us. And today we are looking in the book of wisdom, which I love. And later in chapter seven of this, I really, really love how it speaks of who wisdom is and personifies wisdom. But today in the beginning chunk, we hear from Solomon, who is a rich king and a wise prophet and has many beautiful possessions. And yet he reminds us, I too am a mortal man, the same as all the rest, and a descendant of the first man formed of the earth, and in my mother's womb I was molded into flesh. For no king has any different origin or birth, but one is the entry into life for all, and in one same way they leave it. So God, our loving creator, an all-powerful creator, we ask you today to please increase in us the virtue of humility especially that we would see ourselves the way that you see us and that we would go about the world with a humble confidence, rightly thanking you for every good gift we experience.